Hey everybody, it's Ulrich Peiser with GuitarIngenuity.com. Today we want to explore the question how to hold a guitar properly. Now, in my experience as a guitar teacher, I don't think there is one proper way how to hold a guitar. It all depends on um, a number of factors, you know, how tall you are, how old you are, you know, the length of your arms and all these things. Um, you need to be comfortable at the end of the day. Now there are a couple of basics I would say um, that uh, one should keep in mind, especially when it comes to uh, practicing over a longer stretch of time because what usually happens is uh, you think you're comfortable but actually you're bending your, your back or um, the way you position your arms on the guitar is kind of weird and um, then eventually uh, what, what, what happens is that you actually get tired fairly quickly and there's certain things that you can keep in mind um, to prevent that from happening. So uh, what I'm going to do now is, and that's the reason why I'm a little bit hunched over right now, I'm going to lean back now so you see, actually see my legs because that's important. So I'm a little bit cut off here but who cares. Um, so when we look at the guitar right now and the typical shape of a guitar, you see that curve here, right? So that is that basically lends itself to put it on one of your legs. Now it depends if you're righty or lefty. Um, it could it has it's either one of, of your legs, right? So I'm a righty and I would naturally put my guitar on my right leg because that allows me that with my left hand which is my playing hand I have easy access to um, my fretboard right so if I um, just for demonstration purposes would put that on my left leg you see <laughs> the fretboard actually moves out of the picture and it's hard for me to reach over there right so just naturally I would put it on my right leg so I can comfortably reach the neck of the guitar. So that's one thing. Now what I actually do here with my right leg, and you don't see that, I'm on my tiptoes to elevate that leg. And that's an important point. I can't do that for a long time because my leg will get tired. That's why they invented, and I'm sorry I have to lean over a little bit, uh, a thing called a guitar footrest and on my blog there is um, a post how to use a footrest there's also a, a product review on a particular model that I would recommend if you don't have a footrest um, use a couple of books or any maybe a wooden block or something like that but make sure that you can easily and comfortably elevate the leg um, your guitar is on if necessary. It obviously depends on the height of your chair. The higher the chair or uh, a sofa or whatever you're sitting in, uh, the more you will have to elevate your right leg in order to make up for that difference. So again, my recommendation is get yourself one of these footrests. There are uh, Those are adjustable in height, very easy to use and uh, they come in handy and they make a huge difference if you have to practice over a longer course of time. So um, again, comes highly recommended. But again, you can also use a block or whatever um, you find that will do the trick. The problem with playing guitar is that um, unlike um, playing a piano, for example, it is hard actually to see what you're doing meaning with the, when you play piano you obviously can look down on the keys with the guitar it's a little harder because if you want to look on the fretboard and on the neck what happens is and this is especially true for beginners you kind of bend over because you want to see what you're doing here what fret you're in and again after a while once you become familiar with the instrument um, you probably don't have to do that anymore because um, yeah, things like that as you practice almost become second nature and you don't have, you know exactly okay I'm now here on the on the third string from the bottom and in the in the second fret um, but uh, in the beginning it's it's just you need that visual component and of course what what would typically happen is that people bend over and 
or or even turn their guitar a little bit like this and that is not recommended because then you you shift the angle of the guitar which means you will have a harder time strumming um, one way to work around that is practicing in front of a mirror now this is not for everybody um, not everybody likes to sit in front of a mirror and um, kind of it's it's more it's a, a distraction to them uh, seeing themselves uh, practice and playing guitar but uh, some students found it very very helpful because it allows them like I see myself now on the camera screen the screen which is next to the camera I see what I'm doing here and I, I see exactly where I am so try the mirror trick it might work for you it might not it's something you will have to uh, find out for yourself and either way whenever you sit down to practice try to the extent possible that you just relax and keep your back and your upper body up straight don't be in a position like this or like that like hunched over like that because you can't keep up with that over a longer stretch of time so try to be comfortable and again use a footrest or a block to elevate the leg to bring your guitar up to a comfortable level so that you can hold it comfortably and and play without getting tired um, too quickly there's one last thing I would like to make and that is um, sometimes you see classical guitar players holding their guitar and it looks something like this right um, they they play their guitar like that. This is uh, again very very helpful if you play classical guitar or if you practice for a really long time and again it comes down to personal preference. You may find for yourself that holding the guitar that way is just easier and again now I move the guitar from my right leg onto my left but again as I told you see the neck is not even in the picture anymore so I will have to bring that guitar into like this 45 uh, degree angle so that I can comfortably reach my fret and look at my my upper body it's now perfectly straight I can actually easier because now the angle has shifted see my fretboard which is which is pretty cool but one thing I have to do again is now I have to bring that left leg up and that again is when the footrest comes in very very handy so those are just a couple of pointers when it comes to uh, how to hold your guitar properly again properly I don't think there is like a cookie cutter approach but um you know it really depends on how you feel comfortable try to keep your upper body relaxed try to find a comfortable position so um, you know you can reach the strings easily um, you have a way of seeing actually what you do here if that's important to you and then you should be fine any questions guitar ingenuity at gmx.com I'll see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.